This is video for assignment 83, math lesson 10.2. Today we're going to be doing more work with pen balance problems. And they're going to be getting a little bit trickier today. Now you were asked in your math message to solve these pan balance problems. Okay, um, So take a look in your journal, open to page 336 and check your work. You'll need this page and your pencil as we continue the video as well. One block weighs as much as how many balls? Well, if you look over here, we've got only blocks on one side, only balls on the other. So this is pretty simple, just figuring out how many balls to each block. Okay, I've got two blocks, so if I divide by two, that would be one block here, and if I divide by two, that would be two balls here. Okay, so the answer is two balls. In number two, one ball weighs as much as how many marbles? This one could not have been more simple or more simple. So hopefully you put five marbles. Now, today's pound balance problems are going to get a teensy bit trickier. Okay, because now each problem involves two pan balances. Okay, here's number three, this balance and this balance across from it are working together. You need the information from both of them in order to solve the problems. Okay, Solve these problems using both pan balances. In each problem, the pans are in perfect balance. The weights of objects such as blocks, balls, marbles, and coins are consistent within each problem. What that means is that a coin over on this part of the problem is the same as a coin over on this part of the problem. So we can assume that we can substitute, which is exactly what we need to do. When I look at here, we need to figure out um, one block weighs as much as how many marbles. Well, I've got only marbles on this side, but the problem is that on the left side, I've got one block and one coin. So I really can't figure out yet how, much, how many marbles a block weighs. But if I use my second balance, I can see that one coin weighs as much as two, four, six, seven marbles. Knowing that a coin is worth seven marbles, I can come over to this and I'm going to get rid of that coin and instead I'm going to put seven marbles and substitute. So now I've got one block and seven coins on the left. And on the, I'm sorry, not coins. One block and seven marbles on the left. And on the right, I've got 20 marbles. At this point, I can do exactly what we were doing in the last lesson to solve this problem. I know that I can take seven marbles out of this side, minus seven marbles, as long as I'm minus seven marbles on this side. So that would be crossing off all of those marbles. And now I can see that one block weighs as much as 13 marbles. I could not have solved that without knowing what's over here. That one coin weighs as much as seven marbles. Now what I would like you to do is I would like you to pause this video and solve problems four and five. Then resume the video so that you can check to see if you did it correctly. Okay, you should have solved problems four and five. Now let's take a look at problem four. One block weighs as much as how many marbles? Well, these are not marbles, folks. These are balls, okay? One ball weighs as much as how many marbles? I can't figure out how many marbles a block weighs until I know the, how these balls are in marbles. So I need to use this over here. Well, I've got two balls on one side, two, four, six, eight, 
10 marbles on the other. So if I divide by 2, divide by 2, I can see that one ball weighs as much as 5 marbles. Now that I know that one ball is 5 marbles, I can go over to here and I can substitute marbles for these balls. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 balls. Each ball is worth 5 marbles. So 6 times 5 tells me that these 6 balls would have a value of 30 marbles. So I'm going to put 30m because I really don't want to draw 30 little marbles, right? So now I know that one block weighs as much as 30 marbles. Great job if you got that solved correctly. Let's look at number five. One block weighs as much as how many marbles? Well, when I look at this picture, I've got one block here and I've got two, four, six, nine marbles here, so that's pretty straightforward. A block weighs as much as nine marbles. Cool. I must need that for this one. So over here I've got a block and three balls on the left, two blocks on the right. Well, the first thing I want to do when I look at this is I want to have only balls on one side, only blocks on the other. So I'm going to cross and I'm going to subtract one block from each side. Okay. Now, you could have done this in a different order. You could have substituted marbles for each block first and then solved. Either way, we're going to get to the same answer. So now I've got a block here, three balls here. I need to know how many marbles does a ball weigh. So I need to substitute marbles for this block. And I learned over here that each block has a value of nine marbles. So I'm going to substitute nine marbles for that block. Now, I've got three balls, and I need to know how many marbles one ball weighs. So I'm going to divide by three. As long as I divide by three over here, nine divided by three is three. So one ball weighs as much as three marbles. If you were able to figure those out, great job. Now, there are more problems like this on journal pages 337 and 338. So your job is to try to solve them. Some of them are easier. Some of them are kind of tricky. Give it your best shot. Um, we will share and discuss them when we get in class tomorrow. Get to class tomorrow.